Welcome back, guys. I'm your host, Odessa Amaris. How you doing today, beautiful souls? I'm doing fantastic. Welcome to our next Let's Play series, The Walking Dead, Season 4, The Finale. Viewer discretion is advised. This gameplay is rated M for Mature. If you're under the age of 17, you probably should not be watching this. This does contain quite a bit of gore, quite a bit of violence, some intense moments, and... Uh, some emotional moments, too. If you are triggered by any of these things, please click away right now. But feel free to check out my other playlists. I do more than just video games, but I also do rated T for teen games and rated E for everyone games as well. So you might find something on here that you might be interested in watching. If you're okay with this, then sit back, relax, and enjoy the final season of The Walking Dead. You have been warned. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, so we gotta plan our defenses here. We've got good strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. So let's make sure that we are able to get to that. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. This is only if they know our location at this point, which we haven't taken them here. Unless they followed us by chance. I mean, I would still prepare just to be safe. But so far, they don't know the, where we are. The courtyard's pretty wide open. Not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Lily told me she was back, but I was like, no way! Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh! Would you keep it down? The little boy is asleep! His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch! Those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... Be all right. Well, I hope he doesn't have anything going else wrong with him. <sighs> Jeez Louise. What a day. 
You might be able to finish this uh, chapter at least. Guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? You gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. I get it. We're upset with me. I'm sorry. AJ did a screwed up thing. There's nothing more I could do about it. Oh, look. Another collectible. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. Yeah, I should find the locations of where all these are. They're easy trophies and collectibles. Are you okay? Just have to find where they are. It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place, but it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. Oh my goodness. Take a look. Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, we could talk to him. What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are going to have words. Let's survive first. I agree. Then we could talk. Damn. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vice says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Uh, no, it makes sense, you know. But I am trying to help you guys out. You don't need to be a dick about it. Ugh. here. Get off of me. I'm fine. Oh, thank God. Oh, there's only three. Not too bad. Take him out real quick. Take him out real quick. I'll get the door open. There we go. Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear. Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. All right, see what we can find here. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are going to do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Well, that'll be good. 
some mushrooms are edible. Alrighty then. Find something? Yep, maybe useful. Found a shovel. Ooh, nice. Can use definitely that. Let's see anything. Ooh, shovel. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. Took forever. Oh, we're not gonna pick it up? Alright. On more. Nothing good here, huh? Oh, I thought it was gonna tell me to push it aside. Apparently not. I didn't. Huh. What? This was for science. I was not. Oh my god, I got a trophy out of it! <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting that. I was thinking she was gonna pick something else up. Never mind. Oh dear lord, help me. Uh... <laughs> Let me just pick it. Ooh. Another nice weapon. Shears. Yes! Dibs! Alrighty. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kinda like to see that. Jeez Louise, man. Kind of sick of your attitude already, man. Let's see. Oh! Perfect. Guess we found something a little early. I love poking my nose in places. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. <sighs> For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally! It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Hmm. Alrighty then. That is funny though that I got another trophy. I've gotten three trophies so far during our let's play. There's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. a lot of noise there would have been definitely a sound okay let's see what's inside All right. We had a scare. That's all. Shit. Oh no. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. She looks... You can barely recognize her. She's just... just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I... I just... 
Wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. The walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just... There were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run. So we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Yeah. Rest in peace, darling. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. I don't even know if there's anything in here. Like that. Alrighty, let's see what trouble we can get in here. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. Dare you to drink it? Yeah, let's definitely drink something that we shouldn't be. Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. What's this? <coughs> Everything stinks. Let's see. What's this? You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. Lots and lots of chemical stuff. Wah! Hello. Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. A bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. All right, talk to him real quick, see what else he has to say about You seem to know a lot about bombs. I made my first one when I was eight. Really? I blew up the garage. It was awesome. Though, Dad didn't think it was awesome. Dad gave me a chemistry set to keep me from fighting the neighbors. Uh, why would you fight the neighbors? I had a lot of energy. I had to use it somehow. And they didn't like my face. And they didn't like my face. Okay, there's the propane thing, but hang on here. I want to look. See if there's anything else. Oh, all right. I got another one. I'm kind of glad I checked the freaking thing. Oh, a fly trap. Oh, we got another item. See? I got another one. Put in the room. Oh! Another trophy, too. Jesus. That's like, what, four trophies in a row now? So there's gas in it. Oh, come on. Yeah, perfect. Here. Help me out. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. We should burn her. Oh, 
That's not what I wanted. She's been like that for a long time. She's not a person anymore. I meant to say bury. We've all seen people button. die. Can't fall apart over everyone. I meant to push the other button. I fucking. Damn it. Well. It's better, you know. To get it over with. You get all caught up in who people used to be and you can't deal with what's in front of you. I'll tell everyone when we get back. That I changed my mind. We need you. Thanks. Whoops. Oh well. It happens. Think it'll be enough. <sighs> Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. Yeah, it's easy to miss uh, a lot of trophies in games, so... Especially with these games, they're super easy to complete trophy-wise. Um... I meant to- I really did mean to bury her, not burn her. Damn it. It's whatever, I guess. Brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when... You know. Where did you get those? They were tens, back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So, we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? Lewis? It's not a no. I'm sorry that you're hurting and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlon, he... Forget it. I, I should go. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me. And he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. Medicine. I'll get over it. It's... It's okay if you're mad. To feel that way. You're right. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Oh, we yeah. get to pick his shirt out? Let's see how it cute. Nice, but... I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. Uh -huh. Let's see these adorable shirts. Let's see here. Huh. There is... Oh, the broccoli shirt and... Uh, what's this one? It has a dog on it. Let's do this. Hey, one. look! It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. I wish you could have seen this cartoon. 
Me too. Hmm. This one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. Oh, did we get to put our new shit that we got here? What did we get? Ah, oh, we have stuff to put in here. That's true. How long it'll last. <gasps> nice. That's pretty cool that we can decorate the place. Oh, <laughs> we got another trophy. I swear I'm not trying to get these whatsoever. Like, if I find it, I find it. If I don't, I don't, you know? That's a weird plant. It's a fungus. A fun guess. Doesn't look fun. <laughs> it's a mushroom. Pretty cool. <laughs> Alrighty. That plant looks scary. Oh, it is. It's a fly trap. It eats bugs. A plant can eat bugs? <laughs> That's so, so awesome. From what I heard, they're hard to take care of. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries... <sighs> bang. Sure, I could easily go back through this game and get all the trophies. Just have to find where all of the things were. If I really wanted to. If it's an easy trophy, I usually go for them. If they're not, then I just leave them alone. Excuse me. I'm not a tr too hard of a trophy hunter. Again, it's been several days and they haven't found out where we are. Two weeks later, okay. the crap out of me? AJ? Is she having a dream? Where are you? It's a nightmare. Find AJ. Oh. Thought there was a, another spot to look at. Whoa! Oh yeah. We're shouldn't be eating those uh, mushrooms. Bad hallucinations, bad dreams. Still nothing back here to collect. All right. Oh dear. AJ! Oh, what in the world is going on? I think she's just really worried about... 
can't even interact with the horse. Maybe she's just worried about what's gonna happen in the next few days. Stress can make you dream some fucked up things. Hey, Pain can also make you dream fucked up things too. You were having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. What did happen at the ranch? Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. We're safe here, AJ. It doesn't feel like it. You used to think so. Ah! Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. You're the toughest boy I know. Probably the toughest boy in the whole world. I'm not as tough as you. Well, no one's as tough as me. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work to atone me. <sighs> I'm gonna help you more so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people, monsters, whatever you have nightmares about. What if you stayed here instead? If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed, like I did when I was little? Yeah, come on up. I I'm not scared, just tired. It makes sense to me. Think you need that? Aww. AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. What did he do? He's been having nightmares too. My poor bud. Nightmares suck, man. Can't really control them, can't really do anything in them. They're just either terrifying or really weird sometimes. Or embarrassing. I have had the occasional funny ones, but... Uh. <sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. Feel I bad. slept better in your bed. It's my turn to be lookout.
I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey. I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Alrighty. Let's take a look around. Pretty clear message. Go away. Absolutely. Still wouldn't want to pledge to that. Ouch. Check on our bud here. You better be hey, careful with that. What are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Sure, let me get involved in all of this. Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fuck shit! I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though, for helping. Yeah, everybody's just really on edge right now. I understand. Let's mess around with this spody stuff. I only want to mess with this spody stuff. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Let's see here. Aww. Typical boy bee. What are you doing down there, Rosie? Come here. Good girl. Oh, what did Marlin used to do? <laughs> Best girl. Best girl ever. I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. I could do something. Oh, don't do that. That's not very nice. Don't do that. We just got back with them and everything. That's the last thing we need them to catch you doing, anyways. Besides, that's absolutely disrespectful. Jeez Louise. I'm sure you could do it, but I am choosing not to. Why'd you have to put him inside the fence? I guess. That's always lovely to look at. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. <laughs> you 
don't walk. That is true, you are very smart. <laughs> There you go. Well, no one's coming over those. Not without uh, a battering ram at this point. Anything else? Hmm. Place looks ready for a war. Yeah, something that we're not ready for recruiting people to so what's gonna happen if your recruiters literally throw up their hands and be all like yeah no these guys forced us into this we didn't get a choice in the matter we just had to follow their orders um but uh we don't want to be a part of this stupid war who's to say that people don't do that hmm? Hmm? like for real at least they kind of gave us a running button um, I don't know if any of the other games had a running button. I think they all just had walking buttons. So, kind of grateful for that. Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games, while my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. But I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, I, I still do. AJ killed him. I didn't stop it. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. I'll never be glad he died. But I understand why AJ thought it was the right thing to do. He was on the arm, though. Here. You take it. Are you sure? sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... Before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In sure. that direction, please. <laughs> and just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. I am. Um, I used to be part of archery class. It's a. Uh, it's been a very hot minute since I've actually done archery. But uh, I used to take archery class. Damn. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? <laughs> Sounds good. And Clem, thank you. For all of it. Yeah, I never took any lessons after that. My mom thought it was too dangerous. It can be. I did not pay attention. Sure, I'll do a couple more shots. Uh, not what I was expecting, but sure. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Uh. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was an interesting little lesson that they had one time around in PE, and then after that. I wanted to invest in it and everything, and my mom didn't see where it would go, so... or what I would do with the knowledge. So I kind of just never went back to the paid lessons after that. It was fun while it lasted, though. 
Back hallway secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. Well, honestly, it's not perfect, but they're trying. They're doing everything they can. Trying isn't gonna stop them from getting kidnapped. Trying isn't going to stop these raiders from burning down our fucking home. Jesus, Clem, they stopped giving out participation trophies when walkers started eating people. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself- Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a Sim won't listen to anything I say. That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid. You're being childish. I am not. I'm trying to help. So help and stop arguing. Uh, Sim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical too. No, it isn't. It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. <laughs> what the Oh sh my god, you guys. We can't really Dude, do you okay? this. Yeah, do fine. both. Shit. Christ. There's no option for both? Each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. Right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we play? So sweet. Truth or dare. Oh. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask. Lowest card has to answer. Sure. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Mary, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Mary, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. <sighs> oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... Uh... Ruby. Watch out, Asim. She's totally gonna swoop in and ruin your dream. You gotta admit, Clem's a way better catch than you. I would, um... Flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip. flip. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I don't like. <sighs> James, that's an interesting choice. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? I wonder if he'd take it off to. Uh, oh, my. You know what? Never mind. Don't finish that sentence. So that means you're killing. This is amazing. A sim! Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry or flip Clem. I, uh, no. I didn't mean it like that. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. Oh, jeez oh, Louise. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. Hmm. It's a walker head. Oh my god. I won't be that mean. Like, they're both mean. Um. You have to ask Ruby. For a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares.
Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> Well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. <laughs> Maybe I should have asked or told him to do the walker, but then again, he might get infected by that. Oh, jeez. Oh, bummer. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Asim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. <sighs> yeah, I've definitely got feelings for someone. Oh, who is it? <laughs> nope, not telling. I do. I kind of do. A ah. Sam, you've got the high card, and the loser is Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I um, I, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, cause the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end. And another one will start. An age without walkers. Like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. <laughs> and that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Well, of course you can, little guy. <sighs> I don't think they found our location. Seriously. Oh, are they Hi. making up? Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. <laughs> Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. follow my girl sorry sorry <laughs> he's a sweet guy and he's funny I really like him but uh, yeah no I went that route so anywho so Thank you guys so much for uh, watching. I hope you guys had fun and are enjoying the game up to this point. Um, I'm going to probably call it for today because it is about 5 o'clock in the morning, about to be 6. And I have to stream today. Uh, so thank you guys so much for all the support and love. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, please smash that subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Definitely hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload to the channel. Feel free to check out my other playlists. I do more than just video games. You might find something else to entertain you while you're waiting on the next upload. And I do other video games besides the Walking Dead series that you might be interested in as well. Feel free to follow me on my other social media pages and all of that. I do cosplay stuff, drag king stuff, photography for myself and others, events, updates, you name it. It gets posted over there so you guys can enjoy it. 
and I enjoy making the content for you guys, absolutely. Uh, feel free to also come and hang out in the Discord server if uh, you want all of that wonderful information. You can find it in the link tree in the description box, uh, or you can find it on the About Me section, or just type in my name, you'll find me. Without further ado, I'm your host, Odessa Amari, signing out Game on Gamers, Cosplay and Cosplayers. Be safe, everybody. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. Bye! Ah, <laughs> oh, we're getting there. <laughs>